Hello everyone. In this video, we will look into new sculpting features that have been added in the new version of Blender 4.2. So let's start. Here I am in the sculpting mode and using a Sophia object. There are two new useful features that are now available, which are line and polyline tool. These tools are also available in the hide menu the trim menu and the face sets menu as well. Let's first select the polyline trim tool. With this one, you can easily trim or remove any part of the mesh. Click one point, you will see a line. Click again to make another point and then you can close the shape by going back from where you started. A small circle will become visible as you go near the point to indicate for closing the shape. Any area inside this shape will be removed. You can make any type of shapes with many points. By pressing the spacebar key, you can move the position of the entire shape as well. Escape to cancel. In the trim menu, next we will now select the line trim tool. Using this, you can remove any part of the mesh in a straight line. Anything on the gradient side color will be removed. Simply draw a line. A useful feature you can use is the limit to segment option. This will only remove the part of the mesh which is under the line rather than the entire section. For example, if I make a small line, only that part will be removed. Next, there has been a major improvement in the trimming speed as well. For instance, using here the lasso trim tool, we can remove any part of the mesh quickly. This same process used to take a lot longer time in previous versions of Blender. Now the trim action is almost instant even on a dense mesh. This is due to the fast solver option that has been added. Let's look in the hide menu now. Here we have the same line and polyline tools. Using the line hide tool, we can hide any portion of the mesh. If you need to show back the hidden part, simply click in any empty viewport area. In the same way, you can use the polyline tool to make a shape and hide that part of the mesh. The process is same as before, just make sure to close the shape. In the sculpt menu, there are two new settings to grow and shrink the visibility of the hidden area. It's better to assign shortcuts to these. Moving to the mask menu. The line and polyline tools work in the same way as before. You can easily mask any part of the mesh. Alt M to clear any masks. In the face set menu, we have the line and polyline tools available as well. Using the line face set, we can assign face sets quickly now. The main idea behind face sets is that it allows sculpting to be applied only on certain areas. For example, if I want to sculpt only on the certain colored part of the mesh, then it is possible using a face set. Select any sculpting brush. I will select a clay strip brush here and in the brush menu, turn on face set setting. If we now start sculpting, you can see we are only affecting that purple part. If I like to sculpt on any other part, I can simply sculpt without affecting the rest of the mesh. To remove face sets, go in the face sets menu and use the face sets from visible setting. In the same way, you can use the polyline face set tool and you can simply sculpt over. And this covers most of the important updates added in the sculpting section of Blender 4.2. I hope you find this video useful. To see more future updates, please give this video a like 
and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.